inviting everybody in the district, unlike uh, the, the way the Speaker of the House does business. Well, the Speaker of the House is a little more hoopla. He's third in line. Well, we appreciate your coming. It appears that the Democratic Party wants affordable health care for all, and Obamacare was an attempt to do that. Where the Republican Party only seems interested in repealing Obamacare. They've had seven years to come up with a plan, and they can't come up with a plan. Well, I'll comment on them both. People say, you had seven years to come up with a plan. Why didn't you just get in there and pass a plan? There are 52 member, Republican members of the U.S. Senate, and they've got to get 50 of those people on board. And you have some Republicans who feel, and I have some sympathy there, that, that they feel the whole reason we have a health care problem in this country is the government already is doing too much. And as the government plays around health care, the cost goes up. You have other people who feel that anybody who's got government coverage right now shouldn't lose coverage. So Republicans kind of pulling in opposite directions. And therefore, it's not surprising that it's hard to get 50 out of the 52 Republicans on board in the Senate. The Democrats did it um, for Obamacare. Yep. They got yeah. Yeah. Yes, they did. Yeah. 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 If you're going to say health care for all, it in a way says the government has to run the health care system. Right. The government runs things. They frequently do do all that. Okay. Medicare, Social Security, true. Because they want to be free. There are areas, health care related areas, in which the government has been very little involved. An example would be cosmetic surgery. Which, after all, is done by doctors and medical institutions. Over time, the cost of cosmetic surgery has fallen. And you will see many more advertisements for cosmetic surgery today than you did 20 years ago. And you could argue that is because the government's not involved. People who want the government to run all the rest of the health care have to recognize that if they do, you're going to wind up a situation like, let's say, Canada, where people frequently come to this country to have things done because it's done better here, or it's done without a waiting list. Okay? I do not believe that it is best off to have the government run our massive health care system. Any more than I think it would be good to say you have to buy an automobile from the government, though most of you probably drove here today, or that you have to buy food from a government store, even though you didn't get food from a government store. The reason we are a wealthy, wonderful country is because we are a free country, in addition to the benefits of freedom in its own right, a free enterprise system over time results in greater goods, or in this case, greater, better medical services, for less cost. Now, right now, I don't think people are focusing enough on the cost of medical care. And, the re and medical care costs have gone up to a certain extent because of all the government involvement that's already there. As much as you want to, as much as I appreciate your opinion, I think you need to appreciate your constituents' opinion. Well, I have a, I, I, yes. Yes. You're representing us. Sign up. Well, I walked in late. I wasn't able to sign up. I will try to answer as many questions. questions I can. It is unfair to the people who are playing kind of by the rules if I respond to people who ask questions by just throwing something out. So I will try to get through to as many people as I can. I do listen to my constituents. I am out and about around my district all the time and, and get, their, get their comments. But like I said, I think if you look at all the areas in our society in which government is not involved, and the two major areas that are involved are secondary education and health care, but all the other areas, we have so much choice, we have things that the whole rest of the world wants to get here. 
and to say that we do not want free principles or free market principles involved in healthcare, to me, what free market has done so wonderfully well and all the other things you spend money on is a little bit. No. Healthcare is not a commodity. It's life itself. Okay. Roy Brubeck? That's a huge generalization. <laughs> Roy Brubeck? Roy Brubeck is over here in the red. <laughs>